To get started with the online ordering with the free trial so you can add it to your website, uh, the first thing you would want to do is install the app. So what I'm doing here, I'm just showing you what the online ordering uh, will look like once you have set it up. Again, there's many different interfaces you can choose from. Uh, you can add pictures, images, lots of different things. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you how to install it yourself uh, so you can have it, so you can try it out um, and make sure you like the application. So the first thing you would do is um, choose the right location. This is very important. First, you go here at the very top. Remember, this is Clover.com from your Clover dashboard. Choose the right location. So if you want to install it at one of these locations, click on it. So I'm going to install, install it at Authentic Foods. Okay. So what I would do next is I will find more tools. And then over here, you can type in uh, Smart Online Order. Since you already have the app and you're looking at it right now on your Clover POS, you won't, you won't have to search it like I am. So you would just kind of uh, install it. So, so for example, let me show you um, what you do. So you click on the search bar here and just type in uh, Smart Online Order. You may not have to do this because you already have this uh, being shown to you. So what that will do is once you install it, you have this page created for you, for your website so that your customers can order online. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, show you what I mean by that. Let me press the enter button. It's right here. So press it one time and then um, press connect. Okay. Connect right here. Once you press connect, uh, you'll get some options. The most popular option is the first one, unlimited orders. This is WooCommerce. If you've never heard of WooCommerce or you don't know what it is, you can ignore that. Uh, basically, this is for retail stores that have a WooCommerce already set up. So you, if you don't know what that is, uh, just ignore that. Um, and the other option is complete website. So if you have no website and you're starting from scratch um, and you need something built out for you with the online ordering, uh, then you would choose this option. So for example, this one is an example of a complete website. This includes everything, as you can see, the website and the online ordering. Um, so again, it's up to you. I can't say which one you need, but it's up to you. If you already have a website, then it's 30 bucks a month. So choose this one. So you press accept. Once you press accept, uh, it will connect to the online ordering. And then uh, it will give you some options here. It will say, um, do you have a WordPress website? Um, do you want technical support to install it on your WordPress website? Or do you have a Wix or Squarespace website? The majority uh, of selections is this third one here. So if you are on this page and you don't know what to do, just choose this option because you can always change it again. But choose this one. Um, but if, if you are a developer and you are seeing this page and you already you know what to do, then choose this option because it means you're a developer and you want to install the plugin yourself. But for most, most people uh, that are watching this, uh, just choose this one, okay? And, and, um, and just kind of go with that and it will assist you further. Uh, so choose this option and then press next, okay? So once you press next, it will take you to the page to create the order online page. So as you can see, it says choose a name. Uh, so what you would do is you would pick a name. So if your restaurant is authentic restaurant, just put authentic restaurant there. Don't put nothing else. Don't put HTTP or backslash or colon. Just put the name of your restaurant. Uh, if your restaurant name is Mike's Restaurant, just put Mike's Restaurant. Okay. If you're a sandwich store, just put the sandwich store name. Something very close to your original uh, store name. So that way it's created for you. Okay. And then fill out the form here. So you would fill out all this information right here. Uh, you put your business name. So if you're authentic foods, just put the foods there. Put your uh, business phone number here. You can also put your uh, personal number. Uh, again, this is for us to uh, create the order online page for you. And then put your email address here. Uh, and then you would also put your email address. Uh, once again, uh, you, sorry, you put your password here and confirm the password. And again, this part is very important. This is what you upload your logo. Okay. And this is what you upload your header. Once you have your logo and your optional header image uploaded, um, then you press submit. Remember, um, it's important to have these uploaded now because it'll save you time in the future. So if you do it right now, it'll be better. So header image, basically what that means is 
See this picture right here? That's called a header image. So this picture will appear in the background. Logo is this. Okay, so if you have a logo on your website, just copy, paste it, and upload it. So this is the logo, this is the header image. So that's what that means. Now that I have both of them uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and press submit. And then once you press submit, uh, wait about, um, I would say wait about 30 seconds. Uh, if you have a big menu, it may take up to 60 seconds. So just, just kind of uh, patiently wait while it takes all your Clover inventory from your POS and makes your order online page. There we go, it's done, okay? So here is the order online page I created. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. And remember, uh, this is your login link. So remember to, uh, this, will, this will also be emailed to you. And then uh, it's very important to watch this video right here. So uh, as you are watching this, when you get to the stage, make sure to watch this video because this will tell you some important instructions on what to do next. This way your customer's orders that comes through has their name on the receipt. Uh, it goes to the kitchen printer. You have the right business hour set up. So this video is very important to watch. Um, and again, and this, also, this video is also very helpful. So make sure you watch these two videos because it will help you in the long run so you can get the best out of it. And then we also have documentation right here too. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, look at the order online page so we can see what it looks like. And then once you click on it, uh, give it a few seconds to load for the first time. So there we go. There is the order online page. See how nice that looks? We have the logo on the top left. We have the order online, uh, card, checkout, my orders, everything is here. So here's the all the menu. Again, so you're asking, uh, where does this come from? This comes from your Clover POS. This is your Clover inventory. It took it and made for you an order online page so that your customers can order online and have it print to the Clover POS. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this video short, but I want to do want to show you one other thing uh, that it's very important to do. Um, so let me show you that. Once you create your order online page, uh, this part is very important uh, and I recommend doing it right away. So what you would do is you go to the setup app and then press um, and of course put your password in. So what you want to do is press setup and then press order types. You'll notice that two new order types have been created for you. So we have online order pickup, online order delivery. Okay, these two have been created for you. If you are doing only the pickup, then you can go ahead and hide the uh, other option. If you are doing both, uh, then just leave it the way it is. But the most important thing I want to mention here is you want to make one of them a default order type. So you want to make one that's not online order. So create one. If you only see two here, make one more called in-store purchase and make that the default. Okay? Um, because this is for your online customers. This is for your in-store customers. Again, you can give it any name you like. So this is how you do it. You can say something like in-store uh, pickup. And then create that and then make that default just like that save okay this way uh your in-store customers will print the right uh sorry but this one right here i meant in-store pickup so now this is the default one and next step what you would do is you'll go under um uh, order receipts right here check the box order note check the box customer information this will show the customer's name and then press save next step is press payment receipts this one right here, and then check the box custom information. This way, when people order online, you'll know what their names are. And then the last thing you want to do is go to business information and then um, add your business hours. Remember, this is very important. If you don't add your business hours, people are going to order before you open or after you close. So add your business hours and then just make sure all the other information is correct. Okay? So make sure to do these two steps because uh, this will give you the best advantage uh, to make sure everything is correct when you first are. Uh, getting started okay and again there's many other videos on YouTube and uh, documentation but this is the foundation so you can uh, get going and then once you do all that you'll have your nice order online page and your customers will be able to order thank you so much